Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge Circle. In today's video, we'll see a program on square matrix. What is a square matrix? It is a matrix where the number of rows and columns are equal. So today we are going to see a program where we will input the size of the matrix and the elements of the matrix from the user and we will display the sum of the elements of both diagonals. So let's begin the program. Let's click on the BlueJ interface. Let's create a class here. And after the creation of class, let's begin the program with the very first line, import java.util.scanner. The class name I have given here DIA. The scope of the class begins here, then the public static void main. And after the starting of the uh, scope of the main function, we'll create an object of scanner class so that we can take input from user. After the creation of uh, the scanner class object, Let's give a message here that enter the size of the square matrix using the println method of system class. So user will give the size. Okay. And that is going to be the number of rows and columns for the matrix. Okay. Then after we will store the value of user given in a variable s. Then we will create an create a double dimensional array. The array name I have given a and then the number of rows and columns is initialized with s and s that is number of rows and columns i declared two more variables d1 and d2 which is initialized with zero that is for the diagonal one sum and for the uh, second one is the sum of the elements of the second diagonal now we will give a message to the user that enter the number of elements in the matrix and here we begin the loop we need two loops nested loop the outer loop is uh, used for the number of rows and uh, that is what from 0 1 lesser than length it will go up to the 1 lesser than the length and the second loop that is responsible for number of columns that also begins from 0 and it goes up to 1 lesser than the length okay and here j plus plus now in this inner loop we will accept the input from user here a i j i means the number of uh, the current row and j is the current column using the next anti method we will input and uh, now here in inside the loop only we will put the condition so before uh, writing the condition we'll see to find the diagonals sum the elements of the diagonals of any matrix the first and foremost condition is that the matrix has to be a square matrix it means number of rows and number of columns has to be equal if you look at see in this picture we have the indices of each element and we have to find the sum of the both diagonals. So first we will take the principal diagonal. This is the principal diagonal. And what we observe from this picture is that all the elements of the principal diagonals have the indices of row and column same. If you see the first one is 1, 1, second is 2, 2, 3, 3, and 4, 4. So our logic is very clear here that whenever the value of i and j are same, we have to find the sum of the elements. So this is for the first one. Now we'll see the uh, second one we are going to see the second one now this one we have to find the sum of the elements of the second diagonal that is the uh, second diagonal so what we observe from the by seeing the indices of each element of the second diagonal that uh, the sum of the indices of i and j is 5 here 4 plus 1 2 plus 3 3 plus 2, 4 plus 1. Every case we find 5. And uh, what is the actual size of the uh, uh, matrix? That is what? 4. So what happens that when your matrix size is 5, then you will find the sum is 6. When your matrix size is uh, 3, you will find the sum as 4. So it is always 1 greater than the sum of the indices of i and j. So the second logic is also clear. And the same thing we are going to apply in the program also. As we have observed uh, by seeing the indices of the elements of the diagonals. So accordingly, we will put the condition here. If i and j are equal, if it means that if the index of i and j are same, then the variable d1, which is used for finding the sum of the elements of the first diagonal. So d1 equal to d1 plus a i j. And now we will put the condition for the second diagonal's element sum. Here I have written i plus j is equal to a dot length minus 1 as we have seen in the observation. So d2 equal to d2 plus a i j. And as the inner loop gets close and outer loop gets close, what we find that 
our sum of the first and second diagonal has been calculated and what we can do here is that we will display the matrix first to the uh, on the terminal window that how the matrix appears on the screen so what i will do here i'll just copy this code because we need it uh, to display it the loop will run same way and what we will do here that we if to display it in the inner loop we will display the aij aij we will display and then we will uh, put concatenation and we will give here one space i will remove ln from here because we want to display in a uh, same line otherwise uh, the square matrix will not be displayed properly after that we will close the uh, inner loop and we will write here just print ln to change the row close the outer loop now it's time to display the sum of the diagonal first and second so we have which we have already calculated while taking input itself okay so we'll just write here diagonal one and then concatenation then the variable d1 where we have stored the sum of the elements of the diagonal one and here again i'll copy and paste the message and i'll modify it diagonal two and here i'll write d2 and uh, here we'll close main class main and class we'll click on the compile button class compiled no syntax error so it's time to execute the program enter the size of square matrix three enter the elements of the matrix so here i am entering the elements of the matrix and we have displayed the matrix and then you can see the sum of the diagonal one and diagonal two